just as of yesterday, just crossed the threshold of 100 billion in total ETF holdings. To put that in context, a year ago it was about 8 billion. So the launch of US ETFs is brought into the mainstream, has really kicked it in. And also to put that into context, total holdings of gold ETFs are around 230 billion. So Bitcoin's almost halfway there, and it's only been less than a year of you know, actual physical ETFs. So there's a lot of physical buying. We all know about the the uh, diminishing supply. And right now it's a bit of animal spirits. What I'm concerned about is you look at the correlation of Bitcoin, the S&P 500, the 60 days, it's the most ever on the way up. So the fastest horse in the race is leading everything up. And remember, the world changed a week ago when President Donald Trump was elected. Remember, in first, Donald Trump's um, administration is really pushing against crypto. It was bad for the dollar. Now he completely flipped, and he's making the Bitcoin and the crypto people very happy. So Bitcoin has been trading more like a leveraged version of beta than yeah. a digital version of gold. I know that's what you were writing about, Sue. Uh, yeah. What do you think this could tell us also maybe more broadly about U.S. equities when you have a big run like this in the crypto space? Well, well it's catching up. So it's it had a, it's, it pumped early in the year when the U.S. ETFs were launched. It pumped up to around 63 or 73 and then went back down to 50. And now with this paradigm shift of the new administration be completely favorable, probably going to get again, get rid of the old uh, SEC, SEC chairman, Gary Gensel, and have one that's more favorable. So it really shifted the narrative in this space towards positive inklings and positive regulations. So we have those animal spirits going. The question is how much further? And I'm glad you mentioned that because I look at Bitcoin as it basically trades three times the volatility of gold and S&P 500. Now, Five years ago, it traded almost nine times the volatility. So it's coming, its volatility is declining. But right now, it's in that stage that, oh boy, we have a complete flip over. The administration's positive. We're seeing massive buying. Everybody's looking at 100,000 as the next key resistance. A lot of people are saying by inauguration, I don't really know for sure if it's going to get there. But the key thing I want to point out is that what I could say is Bitcoin will do fine as long as the stock market goes up. We have not seen a big test yet of stock market going down and Bitcoin going up um and it's it's you know it's a much higher volatility so there's a tendency to be a leading indicator and again it trades 24 7 so during the uh you know even this weekend a lot of times last weekend it, it pumped up almost 10 percent on just over the weekend who's the marginal buyer of bitcoin here mike do we think it's just the retail investor via his or her uh, etf Right now it is. It's that allocation of capital, Paul. People are telling me, oh, you just got to get off zero. And by getting off zero, maybe one to two percent. And that's what's happening on a pretty significant scale. And people look at it as, OK, if I can hold 100 units of, say, the Nasdaq or S&P 500 and put in maybe one unit of the of Bitcoin, I can actually have the same type of upward trajectory with less risk. I, I can sell more of those higher, you know, the lower volatility assets and buy this you know, rapidly advancing speculative digital asset, but the risk is it still is a very much of a speculative digital asset. Just right now, we're only a week away from this paradigm shift of, of President Trump's decisive election. And, the, and I, I was delighted to see him switch back over to favorable cryptos, because I like to point out is, on a one-day basis right now, a 24-hour basis, the number one trade of crypto is not Bitcoin. It's actually Tether, and that's the U.S. dollar. So our regulators and our leaders are figuring that out. It's good to see that. What do the technicals tell us about Bitcoin? What's resistance? What's support at this point? Yeah, but he's looking at 100 grand is kind of the key level. The key support is 70. That's kind of where it broke out from. So 70 to 100 are the key levels. And we all know it's Bitcoin. It can be uh, quite, you know, can make you lose your hair as People on the viewers can see I did that. But yeah, so 70 to 100,000 are key levels. After that, we'll have to see.